Do you sometimes ask yourself how much work it is to program such a complex timecode show? You should know that it depends a lot on the workflow, how much work you do yourself. There is an approach that had been around for years at the Grandima 2. Now, this workflow is also available for the Grandima 3 and it's absolutely free. There are only four simple steps to program a sequence with hundreds of cues frame accurate into a timecode show by using the Reaper software. First, you have to set your markers and export them. Second, you have to convert the markers into a macro for the Grandima 3. Third, copy the markers to your USB stick and at least import the macro and execute it. First, you have to set and export all the markers. First of all, you need the audio software Reaper. You get it in the internet, there is a free version at reaper.fm. Here go to the download area. On the left side you find the Windows versions and right the Mac versions. Download the software and install it at your computer. So after you opened Reaper, you just have to take your audio file, drag and drop it into the timeline. Now you have your audio into the timeline, you see the waveform and you simply can play it. You can enlarge the timeline a little bit and bring the cursor exactly to the position where you want to have your first event. By tapping the Shift and the M key on your keyboard, you set your first marker and you can name it directly. Move the cursor and set the position exactly to this point you want to have your sequence cues later. Just by tapping the right key on your mouse you can set also markers. By using this way you can set as much markers that you need. When you are ready with setting all the markers, you have them on the right position, you can check that. You can have an overview about all your markers. Just go to View and open the Marker Manager. Here you have to click the markers and there is a list of all markers you have done. You can change the name if you like. Next you have to change the time unit to seconds. For that you go to View and here on the bottom you have the Time Rulers unit and you have to set that to seconds. And you see directly that the time unit inside of your list changed to seconds. Next is I have to export this list. For that I go to Actions and Show Action Lists and here I find a lot of actions that I can do inside of this software. What I need is markers, so I tip markers here and here are all actions with the markers. I scroll down and I need Markers and Regions Export. I select that and tap on Run. So here I give a name for that. The project name should be Queen and I execute it. The first part is done, I exported all the markers to my hard drive. Second, I have to convert the markers and create macro and a timecode show for the Grandima 3. For check the exported file, I find on the hard drive my file Queen CSV. I just have a look. And here I see all my markers. That's fine. So Next is, I go to the internet, open my browser and go to the page matimeshow.com. On this page I find also explaining step by step how I create this timecode show. Next is, I tap the button go to matimeshow and here I find the form to convert my file. First is the project name. 
I give the name Queen. Next on the way, I choose the data pool for the Granny May 3. I use the default one. And here I can give a sequence number, on which position inside of the sequence pool I want to have the sequence. I choose 201. Now I have to upload my marker list. Just choose that queen here. And when I'm finished with all that, I tap the please button. Now everything is converted and on this page I can download my files. First the macro for the Granime 3 and my timecode show. Third, I have to copy these files to my USB stick. I go to my download area and see here I have the two new files. First the macro with queen macro and the timecode show with queen timecode. I open my USB stick, go to the folder Grandima 3 and directly on this part I copy the timecode show. Then I go to Shared, Resource and Library Macro and in this folder I copy my macro file. Fourth, import the macro and execute it. Inside of the Grand Maze 3 software. I have a sequence sheet, I have a timecode sheet, I have a timecode pool, I have the sequence pool with the sequence number 201 where I want to create my sequence and I have a macro pool. For importing my macro, I right tap inside of an empty cell, go for import, here I can choose my source. I choose my USB stick and here I find my macro, queen macro. I tap on it for import. So this is the macro. And on the bottom part of the macro, right here, this is the part where I import later the timecode show. This drive number two should be my USB stick. Notice, the USB stick normally have to be the second drive. But sometimes when you have more than one USB stick inside of your Grandime, it could be a different drive. For that, please check it. Very simple. Open the command section, type list drive and here you see all your drives. And the second drive should be your USB stick. Is it not? It's very easy to check the number of your USB stick go inside on the macro and change the drive here. Next. The macro is inside of my macro pool and I execute it just by tap on it. After a few seconds the macro is ready. And now I find inside of my sequence pool the sequence number 201. And inside I find now cues with all the positions and the name of the markers that I did inside of the Reaper software. And I find inside of the timecode pool the new timecode show Queen. And here I see all the timings for all the markers. I can see that in the timeline. And I can see also the list with all the timings for all of the cues. When I now start the show, all the cues get started automatically at this moment where I set the markers in the Reaper software. This saves a lot of time, because I have now the timings for the completely song and now I can fill cues step by step with life and can program my show inside of the sequence. If you like to know more about the Granime 3, especially about time codes, how you get it inside of the desk, how you get it outside and how you use Artnet time codes, please visit me on feeds.de.